Live? Is anybody home? Well, of course, Sandy. We're home. We're right here. Welcome. Home. Welcome. Hello. We're a little early. Just a couple hey, minutes. Everyone. We are early. That never happens. Nope. We're usually late. Never, ever happens. Do -da, do -da. I love this little board. It's kind of cool. It is so much fun. Creations really doesn't fit. No, though. it's too big. It is. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. Welcome, everyone. Inklip. How do you pronounce it? Inklipsy? Inklips? <laughs> he inspires me. He is pretty cool. Do you know who he is, Sean? I don't know who that is. It, went by, so, himself. it went by so fast. It's a young gentleman it. that does amazing projects, and soon he will probably be in charge of all of CHA. He's on the way up. Very cool. I wish I had enough confidence when I was young. Like, I was into arts and crafts when I was a little kid, um, obviously, but, um, you know, that wasn't the course that I was supposed to take, so I didn't do it. But now I'm, I kind of, I'm bummed, like... Like Tanner Bob Bell also started like younger too, and look mm -hmm. at he's got falling. So I think it's yeah. such a good thing, yeah. especially if you're a guy in the crafting business, because there's not a lot of us, and mm. we need to we need to unite. 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 Hey everyone! So welcome. Hello. We are starting a little bit early because why not? Um, for those of you who saw last week, well, first let's explain everything. So we're live right now. Today's a Make It Monday, so we're going to be doing a project. Um, tomorrow will be our Cricut, which I think we're going to be doing a design space video. That's exciting. What? And then, yeah, Wednesday is our Chalk Tour. And then, um, yeah, we're getting ready. And then we're going to, oh, cool, you're going to be at Creativation. That's so exciting. We're going to be at, that's, I was just um, saying that we will be at Creativation this year. So our yes. live videos might be a little jumbled this month because we will be going live a lot at Creativation. Mm -hmm. Um, so especially since we kind of went the first year, we have a plan and stuff. I'm, I'm so excited to share with you guys. Yes. Um, and I took a look at who's supposed to be there and I'm just so, I'm so excited. This will be our second uh, creativation. So, um, which some of those who are asking, it's kind of like, think of it as a mega show, but it's where all the companies kind of debut their 2008 line of craft, uh, supplies. So really excited. Uh, and we'll be there. It's in Phoenix. I think 1920 and 21st is the days that we're going to be there. So if you're going to be there, we'd love to meet up with you and, and say hi and all that good jazz. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Ooh, look at that. It's all of the links Phoenix. are down below in our description. So everything we are using for this video is down below. Um, and make sure to go check it out. Uh, we have also a Chocotour VIP group down there below. So you want to see it. And then, of course, Sean is watching the comments. So if you have any comments or questions on what we're doing, we will talk about it. I'll all do right. my best. So with that said... Um, we are going to, uh-oh, now it just says Ken's Creations. All right. Do you know when I first came up with Ken's Creations, everyone told me, you know you spelled Creations wrong? And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> what qualifications do you need to That is a to great attend? question. Um, so basically you have to join, um, I forget the name of it now. It used to be the Craft Arts and Hobbies Association. CHA. Yeah, but now it's like the Institute of... It's or very AFI. fancy, Sam. I think I might AFI. Have no, that's like no. American Film Institute. No, it's I don't know. Like... It's a fancy name. But essentially, if you go there, you join and say you're a buyer, an influencer. Um, you have to be part of the industry. And then you pay a, a yearly fee, and then you can you can go and, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Why aren't you showing your faces? Because we're not doing two cameras anymore. Everybody complained. Not everybody. You're being overdramatic. <laughs> All right, so we got this package from scrapbook.com last week. Well, we got it a while ago, but we just opened it last week. This is the new Ranger Letterit uh, collection. And it's great because it comes with a lot of items that are already kind of matched for you. Uh, it comes with, you can get uh, embossing powder. There is little ink cubes, pens that match the ink cubes. Here's some more. Um, I did a whole unboxing of what they sent me and uh, showed you all. And the big thing, oh, it's called Association for Creative Industries. So, AFCI. Yeah. A, yeah. AFCI. There you go. Uh, we will look at, uh, so since you guys are all commenting, so everyone that's watching this after live, everyone wants the two camera back. We will do that. The two cameras ran on a program that's a free program, and it has some... Problems. Problems that we're trying to make it through. So, like, basically, we are about 15, 20 uh, seconds behind. So, when questions are answered, we're a little bit behind. We'll bring it back tomorrow. We are just trying to figure it out. We can't do it tonight because we'd have to stop and then redo it all. So, we will bring it back tomorrow. I promise you. Just understand that we can't see comments as quickly as we can do it here. And uh, the mic isn't as good and stuff. So, 
We'll be working on that though. Sean is on it. Two camera. We heard you go. He's loud and clear. All right. So here is the letter it clear stamps that come as part of this collection. So uh, we are going to be focusing on a card that I actually don't do often. I was, I graduated in 1999. And so all of my friends pretty much got married um, outside of that time. So I didn't make a lot of wedding cards. So we are going to make a wedding card. Yay. So we're going to be using most everything is from this product line. There is one exception. I'm going to be adding a background stamp um, from Fun Stampers Journey, which is the Vintage Notes. It's one of my favorite uh, stamps. We're going to be doing the, uh, this is, I actually think it's called Just Wedding, which is uh, this. I love the script in this. This is one of my favorite things from the collection. Uh, we'll be using the embossing ink pad from Letter It. Now, uh, they do have embossing powder that has a whole bunch of different embossing powders, and we're going to be using the gold tinsel and the marigold today. We're going to be using the perfect pearl, which comes in, this one is Sunflower Sparkle. And the, the little kit comes with a little brush. So you get this little cute brush. You get the perfect pearl. You get the perfect medium. So we'll be using that. And then we'll be using their cardstock they sent, which this is just a cream cardstock. And I did um, kind of cut this down a little bit, so I'll be showing you uh, what we're going to do with that. All right, and then everything else we're going to be using, I'll walk you through what we're going to do with it. So this collection was a little hard for me to get inspired just because it's all words. And I'm the type that I normally do a uh, graphic or something and color it and then do it. So this one really for me is kind of the simplicity of the card, but I found something I really, really liked. And that is what we're going to be doing. The first thing is, is I did take the card and I cut it down. So this is the cardstock that comes uh, in this package here. It's a typical A2 size card. And Sean knows what an A2 size card is. Yes, I do. Four and a so, quarter by five and a half. Yeah. So I did cut it down. So this here is now at four inches, so four inches this way by 5.25 this way. Um, and we're going to be backing it with gold cardstock. So this is going to be the backing you can see there. So this gold cardstock is what a typical A2 size card is. So this is 4.25 by five, wait, yeah, by five and a half. This is Cricut's uh, cardstock, gold or glitter cardstock. It's a very heavyweight cardstock. I love this stuff. Um, and you can see, let me bring it up to the camera, how much glitter is in there. And this comes in a ton of different colors. You have, let's see, I think you have uh, white, which is a clear, silver, pink, red, orange, gold, green, like a teal blue, a navy blue, black, I think. So I love their cardstock, very thick. And very then of course, cool I just go to Michael's whenever they're doing their, they'll do like a 70% off hot buy, which will be a whole bunch of cards and boxes. And here is what we're going to be doing. Do you chew your nails? I don't chew them. I bite them. <laughs> That's what us people with anxiety issues do. Yes. We bite our nails when we get bored. I also have ADHD. So when I'm watching TV, that's when I bite them. So yeah, I tried growing them out. It was not successful, as you can see. Well, that's not true. It's successful. And then you're like four months in and you only have like this much nail and you're just like one bite, gone. <laughs> but it's not been bleeding as much. No. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to start with our sentiment. Um, and I'm using the Tim Holtz Tonic. Uh, this is his stamp platform. I love the stamp platform. A couple things is there to switch it from rubber versus clear. It's just a flip of this board here. Uh, it's great, has good magnet, you have open ends, which I really like. The only thing I wish I had was a grid sheet for underneath here so I could uh, line up my sentiments. I do wish that a little bit, but other than that, I love this thing. So we're going to be doing clear stamps, so we want it to see the clear side, and then it will just go like this. And because we're embossing, while I get this out of the way, since we're embossing, I'm going to use this guy here. This is... Inca, I always say this wrong, Inca Dinka Do. Here it is. Inca Dinka Do. And it's just like a little, I think they call it the embossing powder prep. There's different versions of this. I just like this because it's in this little pillow. So people this, even make their own. Yeah. So basically, this here is uh, we're going to put on our cardstock. So this way, all of your fine, fine, fine embossing powder does not stick to it. Do I like this over the Misty? Um, that's a hard question, and I'll tell you why. Uh, 
What I like about the Misty is its size. This is a little bit bulkier. Um, so I, when I use the Misty, I would always use the mini Misty. Um, I did like that size. It's over in the other cupboard trim. Uh, and I like the grid on it. The things I didn't like, even though that they did release it, is I do like the open end of this. And I do like uh, how easy this is to use. So I will say it depends on what I'm doing. Here's the, the mini mister, mini Misty. Uh, so I just have a little bit more control around it. I will say it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing a small image that I need to line up, I will use this because I have the grid underneath of it. All right. So we are going to take this bad boy here and we're just going to basically run it all over our card. Now, if you have a dark card stock, so like black or so dark. Stuff same as or, uh, Versa, uh, same as Versamark, this embossing ink? Uh, it's not Versamark, but it, it's Similar. this stuff here. I'm not sure. Do they put out? They might put that out. It could be, to be honest. Um, so the thing on this is if you have a dark piece of cardstock, you'll see the little powder, and that's okay. We're not too worried about that. We're going to be using the toast. Hello, Wendy. And toast will go about right there. Now, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. You could use... Be way more specific. Sonia says it, yes it is. Then there you go. There you go. Thanks, Sonia. I don't want to officially say that because I don't officially, it doesn't officially say that. So, but I would assume it probably is if it's the same. So basically it's going to say toast to the happy couple. Hey, Robin. Huh? Robin says hello. Hello. So we're going to use this with the clear side facing up and it's going to grab all of our little images here. Or the striped things on the board. That is actually the magnets uh, wrapped with washi tape, which makes it easier to pull off than trying to do it without any on it. Correct. Have you seen the Stampin' Up! Stamparatus? I have. It looks very cool. I have not used it, but I thought they were just on pre-order status, but I could be wrong. So I'm just taking this, which is my um, embossing ink, and getting a really good coverage on there. No. Now the nice thing on the stamp platform is if we did not get a good coverage, we could always re-stamp it because everything's in the place and we have it. Dana said she used it and it was amazing. Well, there you go. Yeah. I am not a Stampin' Up rep, and I don't know if I bought, I think it's Stampin' Up it, that's releasing that. Somebody asked me if I have a nice voice, but do I sing? No. I do not sing. I've tried. Kenny sings all the time. I have a little droplet on here, which is super sad, because now it's stained my card. What did? Oh, I, uh, so we get to start that over. Uh-oh. I was, uh, util or when I was talking, I didn't drool, but I might have drooled. I don't know. But now there's a little <laughs> drop on it, so Oops. we get to redo that. Redo. Guys, buffering bad. Sorry, Huntress. Anybody else having problems? You can always um, reload. Believe me, if there was a way to tell Xfinity to up our uh, upload speed, that'd be great. Then we wouldn't have this. Who? Xfinity. Oh, yes. It they would don't, be they great. can't, you, you just cannot get faster upload speed. It's so stupid. I need to now kind of reposition this where I had it so this way I can. That looks about good. So I need to now, because I have a new card stock, I'm going to go ahead and use my embossy. I call it the embossing buddy even though it's not the embossing buddy but I like that name so I don't know whose is the embossing buddy. So we have a few people saying they have some buffering so it just it all depends if your download speeds are good or not. I apologize. Yeah it's sad. So I get a nice push on here. The great thing about this too is you don't have to push too hard it's pretty mm -hmm. French Caribbean Island. Don't know where that's at. So the first one we are going to start with is the Marigold. So this is the Marigold embossing powder. And I just put it under a sheet of paper here. And I put a, a pretty good amount on there because we can just shake it back into this little canister. And if you missed any spots, you can just go right back over it. 
Keisha said she hasn't used her stamps in a long, long time, and this makes her want to pull them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I missed a spot in my inking. Now what? Redo, because that's a really big spot. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. How could you screw that up? I'm just kidding. Well, see, you guys are here on a day that I need to slow down and take my time, because I completely missed that spot, didn't I? Wow. So Renee was wondering if this stuff will be released at Michael's or Joanne's. I think Michael carries a few things. I think his Misty Misfit was just saying that they're glad some of this stuff is back. Well, here's... Sherry says use the pen. Oh, I could have, but... Oh, well, he's already cutting. I'm already cutting. Sorry, that's just the way my brain works. If I don't like it, I'd start over. Um, so, uh, Michael, here's the deal is, as someone pointed out in our last video... All of these products technically have kind of already been released by Ranger at some point. So Perfect Pearls is nothing new. Neither is uh, half the stuff we're using. So it's just basically the stamps are kind of the new part. And they're using this whole collection to kind of match it up to that stamp. Yeah. So uh, a lot of this stuff could already be at Michael's because it is been released in one form or another. And there you go. So somebody from the, uh, I think it's a Guadalupe French Caribbean Islands is watching cool. us, which means we're we're world known around the world. Oh my gosh, someone got, has a big ego now. We got people from Australia that watch. Sean. You're popular. We are not celebrities. You know that, right? I have to kind of sometimes knock you should on You stamp little... it twice to make sure you got it. Yes, someone good says. idea this time. Here's the deal is I very rarely do um, on light paper when I emboss, I usually do dark paper and it is definitely a little harder to see. I'm not going to lie. Somebody said it was crooked. It's crooked? Is it straight on your lines from your grid? I mean, if it's not, it's the letter is really not going to be straight. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of this, this handwriting is it's kind of curvy. So you're not going to really, and if it's crooked, it's crooked. Can't make everyone in the world happy. <laughs> I am horrible about making sure things are straight. I used to let that bug me, and then I realized most people don't care. <laughs> Time to get a that uh, laser. That laser, here's the deal. is I do like that laser. It's not perfect by any means. So um, I had a laser. Before We Are Member Keepers released it, there was someone else that released it. forgot who that was. And He does have nice hair. At least he's got hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Of course, Sean don't have hair. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put on our marigold. Sean, I always tell you, bald is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love the we are make make a keepers. We are we are memory keepers. There we go. Yeah, somebody says, you better you better get that down before we go to CHA. I, I know who they are. Where are we at? We're at we are we crafty are people. <laughs> no, that's not even close. No, I know what it is. Okay, we are someone. Crumb All right, man. so we're gonna start with that Mary Gold. And uh, down below, I have the link for the heater that I do recommend. Right now, I'm using the Fun Stampers Dream, Thank which is you. a great one. But I do like the other one that uh, is from Ranger Tim Holtz because it's uh, kind of looks like a little hair dryer. Mm hmm. All right, so let me show you this before we put our, so there it is before. You can kind of see a powder form. And what I do is I let my, my heater here, you'll see here, kind of heat up. Somebody said the difference of the machine. What machine are we talking about? Mm -hmm. The stamping press, I'm, I'm assuming. There it goes. It'd be great to have a close-up camera on this. There it goes. Light to dark. They say the Tim Holtz heat gun is a uh, heat one is really quiet. Is really what? Quiet. I need that one. Hey, That's Kristen. one I have on order. Nice. And I'm not sleepy. So we saw two movies yesterday. 
Yes, we did. Saw, we saw two movies yesterday. We saw the Jumanji one, which was very good, lot, very funny. And then we saw, after that, we saw the the, the uh, Greatest Showman, and it was fabulous. It Abs- was. It was fabulous. amazing. Even though it all the music was original, it was still very, very, very good. So there we go. So that is just with, that one's the marigold. So mm-hmm. now what we're going to do, um, I don't know if Sean can get any closer without messing it up, because that's a pretty big view. Give me one sec, guys. Hold on. What's happening? Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we have this second embossing color, which is the actual gold tinsel. See right there? Now, part of this collection was a uh, these medium pins. And basically, this we can put down a clear layer of basically the same ink that was in that. Um, we could have fixed our T this way, but what we're going to do is we're going to just give it kind of an ombre effect. Now these pens have different, they're either a chisel tip, they're a bullet tip, so you have all different lengths or different varieties. So that's a really fine tip. Fine tip. This is more of a brush tip, which is the one I'll probably be using. You have another here, which I think this is the bullet tip. Mine's a big one. And then you have the nub tip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these and literally just kind of color the bottom and I want to make sure I get the full and what we're going to do is get create a kind of an ombre effect and I'm just going to color where I want the next embossing powder to lie so this might come out of view for a quick second while I have my head over trying to you're doing right so you want to be very careful you don't want to hit too much of you don't want to hit your cardstock because wherever this is is where your embossing powder is going to sit. Tim says that um, he doesn't use it to emboss because it doesn't get hot enough. Is huh? Tim in here, no, or is that someone saying Tim? That's said what that? some. That's what Tim said from Misfit oh. Crafters at that. Entry. That's good to know. I've never heard that. I've never really used his. I just have seen everyone using it. So it's great for everything else. So you can go. So back are these pads the- like the stamp pad? Same same material. What? Those yes. P- pens. So yes. Mm-hmm. So now that I have colored where I think I want it colored, I'm going to be using the gold tinsel, which is this one here. And hopefully I got it all. Because if not, we're going to be super sad. I guess I can go back over with my pen. Mm-hmm. We want to make sure we get a nice even layer there. Yeah, Kyle says that. Yes, yeah, you can't use it to emboss, but uh, he bought a Wagner heat gun. The product we are demonstrating is called uh, Ranger's Letter It. Just a quick showing of the... Um, so we've got these nice new uh, clear stamps along with these embossing perfect pearls. A um, few other things. To get it. Pretty much. I'm still missing some, so instead of doing that, I'm just gonna. So obviously, it's a little harder on a cream color cardstock with yellow and yellow, but we're getting there. So the stamp pad is made is from uh, Tim Holtz. What stamp? Oh, the stamp tool. Stamp tool. All um, right. So once we have that kind of on the bottom there, you can see where it's gonna. It gives you a nice gold to that nice shiny gold. And I'm going to put my extra in here just in case I do need to touch up or because it's a really pretty gold. Yeah, it is very pretty. So once again, we're just going to heat up our tool. Yay. House scraper finally got her easy press. I love my easy press. We love our Sue. All right. Oh no, Rosemary says her easy press is back ordered. Oh no. Renee, 
You need to get it out of the box and use it. <laughs> Don't so let now, it sit in the box. If you have areas you missed, you can definitely go back and do that. But it goes from a nice light to dark color then. And so you got kind of that two-toned, here's a up close, which is kind of fun. The heat gun that he's using is the uh, Fun Stamper Journey one. Fun Stamper Journey one. All right. So now that we have that done, you could stop there. Sure, you can stop sure, there. But, why? but we are going to put on a background stamp. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is remove my stamps that I have on here. And I'm going to wipe down this just because I can already tell I got a little bit of ink on there, which I don't want. So let me grab that. Yeah, a little hard to get things when you live on an island. Has anyone heard about the mystery box for this month yet? I cannot comment on that. Can either con confirm or deny. Not comment. He does not work for them anymore. Who? You, uh, Fun Stamper's Journey. No, I do. Oh, do you? Oh. I just haven't promoted them. I'm still a rep for them. People can oh, still okay. buy for me and stuff. My, In fact, they... Yeah, Sean messed up on them. My, my bad. Um, they just released a new catalog, so I'm going to be buying some new stuff. Um, I just, uh, with Chuck Tour and stuff, it's kind of taken over my, bo my, my body. Jeez. Taken over everything. Um, so, we're going to be using this music note. Now, the music note... I am going to be honest, I'm going to put a little bit of my advanced tape guide right here, only for purposes of keeping this in place because my music note's going to come right up to this. Right up to the edge. Right up to the edge. So. <laughs> yeah, this is a very cool card. So it's uh, basically this stamp right here. It actually goes like that. Uh, and. Let me see which way we're going to go. That's the right way. Uh, no? No, that's better. There you go. Oh, sorry. That's better. Most notes go downwards. All right, sassy pants. I'm getting it. All right. Do so we're going to, have... once again. Somebody's asking, do they still have the koi fish? Stamp? Yes. Yes. They yeah. should. All right. We're going to go ahead and grab that stamp. And since we're using the perfect pearls this time, there is a medium. So a perfect medium is actually comes in it. So when you buy this from the letter at kit, you will get something that looks like this, which comes with your perfect pearls, the perfect medium, and a little brush. So you're going to need all of these to do what we're about to do. And my brush is missing now. You're going to love it, Brandy. Absolutely Where did my love brush it. Go? Did you move my brush? I haven't touched your brush. My brush was up there. Mm, I do not know. Sorry. All right. Well, I'll grab my other brush. I'm going to have to clean it real quick because it has silver on it. Okay. So we're just going to ink up now using the perfect medium on this. How do you, uh, Renee would like to know how, how can she place a Fun Stamper Journey order with you? Down below there it says Fun Stamper's Journey in the links. Support can with Fun Stamper's Journey. She clicks there, I'll take her to my shopping site. In fact, I'm doing that tonight because a whole bunch of silks just released, which you guys all know I love me some silks. Sorry, Deborah, uh, what are you asking about the red stamp? I didn't quite see the other part. My apologies. Unfortunately, there is no treble. Uh, what? They say you always look at the treble clef to make sure it's right side up, but I don't think this even has a treble clef. So now we're not going to get a perfect. Um, we're not looking for this to be a perfect transfer because we kind of want forgot, it to be. You forgot to flip this over. Oh still no! On, everybody says flip your lid, flip your lid. <laughs> oh no! It might have worked okay. Yeah, you probably. It was probably a little harder to squeeze. Yeah, it was. Not but harder, but actually. No, yeah, because it would have normally... Oh, well, we'll see what happens, won't we? Yeah, we will. Like I said, we're not looking for it to be perfect. Yes, you so. would, Deborah, change, but he kind of forgot. That's okay. I would change it. I'm not used to changing it, to be honest, to go from one to the other. So once we have this, and hopefully we got it on there. If not, I'll show you my before. We have this perfect pearl, and the perfect pearl is really what we need now. I have lost my brush again. Losing my mind. So we're just going to dip this in my brush... And you'll see where it will start picking up those music notes here in one yeah, sec. That's so cool. Once again, we're not looking for a perfect transfer on these music notes. We want it to be in the background. We don't want it to take away from this. 
So we're gonna lightly go in circles. The more you kind of put on it, the more it's going to. So for those of you who've seen me use perfect um, pan pastels in the past, this kind of has the same concept. You want that wherever it is, is where it's gonna stick to. Yeah, so we said they've owned all the machines, which you pretty much have owned all the machines, mm -hmm. machines, and the maker is the best one you've ever seen. Which oh, a couple, yeah. of, a couple of people have said the same thing. All right, so once again, just like anything, I'm gonna save what material I can. I'm gonna click that down there. Now there is a ton of different things you can do with Perfect Pearls. You can paint with them, you can make backgrounds, you can activate them with water. This is actually one of the easiest demonstrations to do with it. And I'm gonna clean my workstation. I'm just gonna grab a soft clock and once again, you're not wanting to push too hard because we don't want to get rid of a lot of it. If you push too hard, you'll start rubbing it off with the ink, which you don't want to do. So I'm just gonna take this green here, little towel, and very gently brush off my extra. Not too hard, once again. The mint is going for 49 bucks. Wow. Great buy. Look at that. So once again, you don't want to brush too much. Now, some people say, how do you make it permanent? You can spray it with just a little bit of water and it will set up, but look at that. That is so cool. Uh, for the music notes, I use the Perfect Ranger Perfect Medium, which is probably the, I would assume close to the same thing, but it's, I mean, I'm using everything out of this collection. Uh, not saying that you can't get this elsewhere, but so I am going to take a little bit of time just to make sure I get it off this gold on the top and bottom because we do want that to stand out. We also want that gold on the bottom. But the trick to this is making sure your gold in the back, you're using gold for everything. Because if you don't, let's say we did this in a dark black or something, it would cover over your toast. So with gold over gold, we're not Why seeing that. Why is it called mixed media? What's mixed media? You keep saying mixed media. Perfect medium. Oh, perfect medium. It's the perfect medium for this, for using with perfect pearls, mm. or yes, perfect pearls, which is this, that's what we did with the background. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this on my card. I'm gonna put this here. So um, I don't wanna let it dry. I'll probably do this afterwards, but normally I'd spread this with a little bit of water on the background and that's gonna make it perfect. You can also finish it off with um, Tim Holtz. Uh, he has uh, something you can applique on that that will make it permanent. So we're going to layer this gold cardstock, which is the Cricut gold cardstock. So you, cardstock. Don't, you don't have to heat the perfect nope. pearls, right? No, you do not. Someone was just asking. Could you do the perfect pearl then emboss? Yeah, I guess you could have. I don't know. Well, do you say water or did you say water? What would you do? What would happen mm -hmm. if you did water? What would happen? It would, um, then it would make it set. So we're gonna have the gold. So we have this. Does it smudge? Nope. So I would normally recommend, there is a Tim Holtz, uh, gosh, I forget, it's escaping me, that will actually set this stuff. So basically you can set it. Um, I see people with water and when it dries, it actually becomes a permanent, but I can go like this and add, oops, I think I'm almost out of, yeah, yeah. out of my stuff. Now, yeah. normally I like to pop things up, but I'm not going to pop it up. I'm just going to make it nice and elegant. We're going to put this right in the center. Some people say with perfect pearls, use hairspray. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Kenny loves his ATG gun too. There you go. That is an awesome looking card. So give you some, I think I still have some ones that I was playing around with to set this. And here's here's this one. one Sean can show you, just we were playing around. This is the gun gunmetal gray, isn't it? Uh, that is actually the ink, so that's blue ink. And then add it on to that, yeah. So here is, the gunmetal grave. 
You do, you, the back is gunmetal and the front is... This is actually silver. Um, so you can see here, this is where I used uh, the Perfect Pearls in silver and it's not smudging at all. So oh. Oh. it sets up after, it just has to air dry. So I wouldn't start smudging with it. I would let this set up, but it gives you an idea of what you can do, but you can see up close here how this one goes from a dull silver to kind of that metallic silver. Mm -hmm. Almost like a pewter gray yeah. to a silver. And then if you, we were to put this about against like a silver car set, look at that. Oh, look how elegant that, that's just beautiful. Yeah, that would look nice. So there is a quick card. Ooh, welcome everyone. And like I said, I would, I would let this set completely before doing anything. You could spray it with a uh, spray paint or a uh, hairspray. Um, this here, uh, I will say using their cardstock to color on probably wasn't the best. It didn't absorb my ink very well, but you can kind of see this was the gunmetal gray embossing. And then you can kind of see where the perfect pearls in there. It kind of gives it that reflectiveness there. And then we just ran it through a uh, cuddle bug with the embossing folder and you get that look. So I was playing around to kind of showing you how I wanted to show all these different but I really like the look of this because of the words. Really to me, that's what these sets are all about. It's focusing on that beautiful handwriting. So this collection, if you go down below, the entire um, collection is down there. You can go to Amazon, you can go to scrapbook.com. I believe it's going, sorry about the shaky there. I believe it's going to be in at Michael's. Um, so it's just making it to market right now. Did you run it through the emboss before or after? On this one? Yes. So I ran it through the embossing um, after. I did all of this, the color, the wording, everything, and then ran it through the embossing folder. Very neat. So yeah. So I just love how to do this. It's a, a very easy card um but with all the different mediums and look at how that just shines it just oh what a great card to give someone for their wedding does the powder come off your hands easily these i'm uh, assuming yeah i mean i just have been taking this you can see where it picks it up and it just brushes off my hands really mm -hmm. so yes miss justice you really do need the maker yes you need the maker it is most awesomest I'm excited to see go to CHA this year and see all the different things with the maker. Um, so in this set, just so you guys can see really quick, Perfect Pearls, we got gold. I think we got silver, copper, and a uh, translucent, or I, I mean, it's kind of a sparkle color. Uh, here we go. So in the letter, it, it comes with this one, which is the pewter. Here's the pewter Perfect Pearls. And what's cool on these is because they're, it is fine, when you undo this and you're gonna go put it back on, they recommend that you put it back on, go this way until you hear it click and then shut it. So like that. And then that way you're not gonna lose any very fine powder in there. Um, but they also have this color, which is beautiful bronze. That'll be pretty. Yeah, and then this is the um, Perfect Pearl. So this is the one I used with this one. So it doesn't really give it a color, and it's hard to see it when you're not in person. Let me see how close I can get up and show you. But it gives it kind of a iridescent look. It's hard to see, but you can kind of, in this darker color, let me bring it up there. When I bring it down, you can kind of see it sparkling there. Oh, you have it on the actual blue part. Yeah, it's in the blue part. I see. So it's not on the white part. I only did it on the blue part. So it just gives it a nice shine and gives it kind of that metallic look. The embossing powders in this are awesome because they match, which made this technique easy. And what I mean by that is you have embossing powder rose gold, which is this color right here. And you can do copper on the bottom half to give it that cool look. You have, of course, the gold that I use. So marigold with the gold perfect pearl. So there is a perfect combination. You have um, pewter and silver, which is a perfect combination. And I actually really liked, um, oops, I messed that up. Let me redo that. Let me go back over. So rose gold and copper for the bottom. So you have this as your bottom. This is your highlight. 
and then you have the copper perfect pearl for your background gold you have the top and bottom so you have Mary Gold with my gold embossing powder, which I don't know where, oh, there it is. So gold embossing powder and then the gold perfect pearl. So those are the three combos that you could do on that one. Then this one you have, I did it with the gunmetal silver and then perfect pearl silvers in the background or the pewter is what they pewter, call it. Yeah. So you have that collection. The last collection, actually, I didn't know I was going to like, but it turned out beautiful, is navy with the bridal tinsel. So it gives it a nice shiny tinsel, and it's beautiful with the perfect pearl in the background. Nice. So you have another collection there. So you could, I mean, with these kits, you could do this card four different ways with different stuff. You could do a nice birthday card, all different things. Yep. So that's kind of what I love about this collection is they've kind of taken yes, that Joy, work out of it for you. These are all about Ranger. I am in love with Ranger products. And uh, the last thing I was going to add, but I wasn't, I didn't know I was going to have enough time, is I personally would probably add a little bit of gold silk from my Fun Stampers journey. And I would be controlled by it, by what I mean, like you could add little <laughs> dots here and there. The reason I didn't do it on this card and I did it on the other card is this one has the music note, so I didn't want the dots to take away. So if I put a whole bunch of silk on there, it would go okay because it already has that kind of distressed look there. So you have kind of that dot, so it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but you could add that gold silk in a controlled way and kind of do it everywhere. Might be too busy for some people. Depends on you. Uh, but with the background with that, that music notes, I think this is just perfect. So, I'm new to Cricut, but a lady I follow said they wouldn't come out with different colors or another maker until they release all the products. Oh, that's good. I have not heard that. Um, the music note stamp is down below. It's from Fun Stampers Journey. My site's down there. You can go click it, and it's a background stamp from them. It's red rubber stamp, um, which I prefer. I like red rubber mounted stamps, which I mean by that is this. So where these stamps that came with this collection, the letterate, are a typical kind of clear stamps. They both work great. I just feel like um, on a red rubber mount stamps, I get a little bit of a better stamp. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of theirs until I started with Fun Stampers Journey, and now I feel like I have to have rub red rubber mounted stamps. I prefer them. So, And Fun Stampers Journey only offers in rubber red rubber mounted stamps, so that's my only option. So Yep. All right, uh, Sheree, uh, Sheree wants to know, will there be any dyes for this? To my knowledge, there won't be. Um, I could be wrong. They could be releasing more products as the letter collection comes out. But for right now, I think it is just this collection where it comes, basically everything's centered around these stamps with this handwriting, which I'm assuming is Taylor's handwriting. And then they've given you all of these current ranger products and i want to make sure you guys know that these are not anything i i don't think new they just collected it with this collection to make it easy for people to uh Create. make matches and stuff so i kind of want the maker but i have an explorer and it does everything i need to i can't see replacing it um the maker essentially if you it, it's going to be mostly for fabrics and thicker materials eventually so if you're someone that's cutting a lot of fabrics or wants the capability of upgrading to cutting, you know, balsa wood and wood and certain stuff, I would say it's worth the upgrade. Um, but so, I know some people just bought the Air Explorer or Explore Air 2 and they're just doing vinyl or cardstock and I think um, that would be good. So um, I was fortunate enough when I went to the uh, Cricut Maker event, they gave us a Cricut Maker. So um, as part of our cost of getting into the door, so I did get it, and but I definitely get people that have. Um, you should read that. Can what? you use your gypsy on that with the maker? I think is what they're. So asking. the gypsy, for those of you who don't know, the gypsies was a handheld device that Cricut uh, released a long time ago that allowed you to link all of your cartridges on a machine and then plug that into your Cricut and use it that way. Um, so it's a yes and no question. Can you use the Gypsy directly with the Explore series and the Maker? Technically, no. You can't just plug in your Gypsy to the Cricut Explore or the Maker and use it. However, you can. There is a process of linking your Gypsy to Cricut Design Space. So they'll walk you through. Uh, it, you can actually go look at it and actually it'll walk you through how to link all of your cartridges on your Gypsy to your Cricut.com account. And that will give you access to everything on there. So... 
So yes, uh, there is a way of, of doing it, not directly, but yes, there is a way of using that. So, so what other questions do you guys have before we leave? Uh, so Sue asks, is this the set or can you buy it uh, separately? If you buy it packaged as the letter it, so this is what you'll see. It will say letter it, letter it. They do come packaged together. However, um, to my knowledge, Perfect Pearls and everything, Perfect Pearls, I think, always come in a set of four when they were packaged. And the same with their, um, but like you can buy Ranger embossing powder separate. So uh, the stamps obviously would be buy buying separate. Else oh, again. perfect. So this one here is the wedding set. So this is the one that says congratulations to the groom, Mrs. Happy Couple Toast. Um, what's nice about these stamps is they're all kind of separate. And um, so you can mix and match them. So this one here is just your greeting stamp. So of course, hi, hello, miss you, get well, feel better. Oh, friend. This is the baby set, so it's a baby, girl, welcome, boy, little one, bundle of joy. What's the cost? I want to say these cost at scrapbook.com are like six fifty, dollars um, and on Amazon they're, I think, eight ninety nine. So, this one is the thank you, so thank, thank you so much, grateful, you're the best. This one is called Celebration, so hooray, hip, hey, woohoo, you did it, congrats. And last is the birthday design, which is all the birthday wishes. The inks that came in the sets. This here is the first set. So this has plum, rose, olive, and French ultra ultramarine. This one is uh, cobalt, coffee, shadow gray, and jet black. Yeah, they do they have metallic markers. And these are just like you would expect them to be. So if you have like any other... Right there, you have a nice chisel tip, and then it just obviously just writes on a card like normal. So, somebody wants to know if you have um, videos of the Look cricket. Look at that! What? Somebody wants to know if you have videos of your cricket. Like, what do you mean video? I have lots of videos of the lots cricket. Lots of videos. On the Cricket Maker, um, that has, just so you guys know, I did a YouTube uh, poll asking what people want, and everyone wants videos on me using the maker for different projects. So that is what's coming tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a, what's more requested, design space videos or me using the maker for vinyl and iron-on and stuff like that. Um, so let me know what you guys want on that. I've kind of gotten half and half. Some people said, I just want to see the design space. Other people have said, I want to see the maker, and I've also gotten both. So we'll see which one I which one I do there. So this is what the pens do. You can see it's just very easy, just like any other pen, but it gives you a nice metallic shine there. And what's nice is these will also be, because they're metallic, you can um, use these on dark color cardstocks, even black, which is nice. Do you have a Facebook page? Yes, so if you go down below, all of my links um, have uh, my social media. And uh, Glenda had a really, is it was it Glenda or Glory that said I don't that? know when by sarcasm um, gets hit. So Lori, I have to say, Lori Noonmaker, my friend Lori Noonmaker and Melody Lane have amazing videos on the maker. Yes, they do. Lori has really dive in deep into using her maker for sewing projects. So cutting it on the maker and then sewing it. So it's been pretty impressive. Something I'm trying to get into is sewing. Reverse canvas. I've never heard oh, of that. Yeah, I can do that. What's a reverse canvas? I will show you. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is everything for you. Does anybody have a wedding that they need to go to and wants this card? If so, let me know. First person, let me know they want the card, and I'll send it to you. Anybody want it? Anybody want it? Anybody want it? If not, Nikki, Nikki Joy. Nick, Nikki it's perfect. yours. You have a wedding? I hope so, because this is will be perfect for a wedding. <laughs> I don't know what else would you do with it. Oh, now here comes all the me's. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. And it shows you the, the delay. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll show you what happens when you rub too hard, though. This is happened. See the difference in this versus this background? So here's that background where you rub very lightly with the cloth. And this one, you can see I decimate. Like, I rubbed way too hard. It actually tore off a little bit of my happy there and everything. So... 
This is the one too I was flirting with doing silver and gold, which it didn't work out because the pan, uh, the perfect pastels colored the embossing on the top here. So, anyways, shows you what you know. Oh, you wow. always got to practice. All right, so Nikki, go ahead and reach out to me with your address, and um, we'll do that. And yeah, there you go. All right, guys, we will be back tomorrow, and we will be doing some sort of cricket project. I don't know yet what, but we will be back. So yeah. thanks for joining, everyone. Thank Have you. an amazing day. Bye. Where's my hand? There it is. Bye. <laughs>